Hi everybody, so in video 1720 we made this. I say made in the loosest possible sense because what it is, is a line of HB pencil and a line of 6B pencil and it's based on this paper. Now I did that because Doug Preston was sending me a load of stuff that included some of this and I thought that's really interesting but when I'd done it and done the video a couple of guys, uh, James Ross and Alex Sanier uh, from Canada said that they tried this as a solar cell because of course it's really a thermocouple uh, and it works on heat but in solar cells you have a big problem with heat as they heat up the solar cell works less but of course the hotter they get the better a thermocouple works so they said they tried it and I thought well that's an awesome idea I mean talk about clever so I thought I'd give it a go. So this is my setup, dead simple, multimeter reading volts, there's our solar cell right there and it works on the heat of the sun remember, not the light. So I've actually got a Fresnel lens and we're going to point it at the Fresnel lens. Now because it works on heat it is already going to be producing something because it's quite a warm day so we need a heat difference for this thing to work and it's on this big bit of cold wood. So it is actually already working. I'll point the Fresnel on and off and we'll see what happens. What's it reading? It's currently at 0.008 millivolts. Oh, wow. Okay. Whoa. What's it got? 0 0.3, 0 0.5, 0 0.7, 0 0.8. And then off. And now it's dropping all the way back down to 0 0.1. 0 0.07. And back on. 0 0.4, 0 0.5. <laughs> and back on. 0 0.08, 0 and back on! <laughs> 0 0.3, 0 0.4. <laughs> awesome! <laughs> now that was a quick and dirty demonstration, but seriously interesting. And of course, it is an area of research, as this paper shows, where they're looking at using the infrared light, or if you like, the heat from the sun in exactly the same way that we did. Now, of course, a single junction like this does not produce an awful lot and if your first reaction to this is huh that's not much what's the point of that then you're really not thinking it through we drew it with a 6b and a 2 hb pencil and that's a single dot how difficult do you think it would be to draw a couple of hundred of them or even print a couple of hundred of them in which case they're going to give out considerable amounts of energy now making solar cells at home about the only option you've got are the copper oxide cells and their pants this one, you can draw with pencils on a bit of paper. Sure, there are other things to do. It worked better when we focus a light with Fresnel lens, but we could look at a micro lens array. And of course, that sounds daunting, but you can 3D print those. Anyway, I thought I would share that with you because it does actually work as a solar cell. And of course, drawing a solar cell with pencils on paper has really got to spark anybody's interest. It sparks my interest. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching and please do remember to like and subscribe.